After 21 days at sea, we finally arrived in Barbados. We celebrated it Peruvian style with some rum punch in Carlisle Bay. So First awesome. rum punch in Barbados. In West Indies. Okay. Cheers. 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 It was a huge difference to come to Barbados from Europe. And it was loud. It was like being in the middle of a crazy discotheque. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. So, we uh, didn't end up filming that much in the end. No. We came into uh, Port St. Charles on the northern end of Bar Barbados and we cleared into the country. And then we made a day sail uh, 10 nautical miles down to Bridgetown and Carly's Bay, where we're now watching the sunset and uh, having a little whiskey. Uh, just as we were entering the bay, our engine died again. So uh, we had to uh, jerry-rig a diesel tank can next to the engine and we, we ran it just up to the anchorage and, and dropped the hook as far out as we could. So we're really far away from shore and um, we don't have an engine for the dinghy, so that sucks. But at least we're here and we crossed the Atlantic. Cheers! Let me show you what it looks like. A few days later, Leo and I arrived. We had not seen Chris for a month and it was so good to finally be together again. After having been in the cold, calm and snowy Stockholm. It's minus 11 now. It's really cold. We were now ready to explore a boiling 30 degrees hot and busy Barbados. It was a huge contrast for us and the first impression was that it was so loud. Yeah, it didn't really matter where we were, even if we were in our boat far out in the anchorage, Barbados made sure that the party came to us. All day and all night. Luckily, Leo slept like a log and was full of energy during the day. We are in the center of Bridgetown, and just behind me here, here is where we take the dinghy out. There is a small harbor here where we can tie up the boat, but it's. Uh, yeah, it's quite noisy in here. But it was not only loud, it was also incredibly beautiful with its paradise beaches and the sunsets behind our boat were just amazing. After we arrived, we celebrated Chris' birthday in the perfect place, the beach. Happy birthday, Chris! Oh, and we got to play with our new GoPro. After that, the time had come to say goodbye to Chris' mom and the crew who had joined him over the Atlantic crossing. Thank you so much for the tour. Now I'm leaving Yemaya after spending over a month on the ship, taking her from Las Palmas to Barbados. It's been a beautiful time, nice 
nice sail and good company. So it feels quite good to go back home again to, to the winter and the cold and the snow. But it, it's, it's, it has its positive sides too. Huh? <laughs> oh, and hopefully these guys can afford to buy a, a, dinghy. a dinghy, no, an outboarder to the dinghy soon. Yeah. Because it's a lot of work to row. It's really a hassle. Yes. Paperwork. Lots of paper. We had to fill out all the, the forms again because apparently it wasn't possible to clear out of this port. So, um, if coming to Barbados, I would definitely suggest going to Port St. Vincent or say Port St. Charles up in the northern end of Bar Barbados to clear in and out of the country. Uh, so, now we're signing off our crew here and see how that goes. Ja, eller om du inte vill ta med den ändå. Den är ju större, du får ju plats med allt där. Ja, den skyttar ju också. Bye bye! Bye bye! Hej då! Hej då! Hej då! The next day we jumped into the dinghy to go exploring. It was a bit frustrating not to have an outboard, especially since the current was quite strong going into town. How does it feel, Chris? Are you getting tired of this? I'm getting super tired of it. Yeah. You're rowing against the stream? Against the wind, against the uh, current. Yeah. Luckily we had our little helper keeping a good lookout so that Chris didn't hit any we boys. Got, we got the boys. Huh? So today we're gonna go underwater exploring and check out the wrecks here in Barbados. It's supposed to be some cool wrecks to snorkel. So that's gonna be nice. While Chris went snorkeling on the wreck, I stayed with Leo on the beach in the shade. We met a really nice family that we could hang out with and I really appreciate moments like this and I think thanks to Leo we meet people we wouldn't have met otherwise. The wreck Chris was about to snorkel on was the Baijian Queen, a tugboat that was converted to a party boat due to the introduction of more modern tugboats. In 2002, it was subsequently sunk and now rests a few feet below the water's surface. Chris was alone snorkeling on the wreck, but not for long. It was soon surrounded by tourist boats, and some of them came scary close. So now the tourists come, so then I leave. I have one boat behind me, another one there. So I think it's time to leave. 
After the snorkeling, we got super hungry and had some lunch nearby. We then headed back to the boat, where Leo got to see what Chris had seen on the water. And he was quite the reaction. A few days after we had arrived, so did our friends on the boat Sea Wind. We had a good amount of laughs together and they are a really nice couple. And if you speak Swedish, you can follow along on their travels. Here's a little taste of it from when they crossed the Atlantic and threw a little party on board. It's really fun to reunite with cruiser friends and to share experiences from when the last time we met. It's sad though when it's time to say goodbye and not knowing if or when you will see them again. Being far far away from family and friends back home, these moments when we make new friends along the way are truly one of the highlights. Beautiful. So beautiful. Last uh, night in Barbados. Yeah. So tomorrow we're heading to Martinique. Yeah. So now we're just gonna have uh, dinner. So we're gonna have dinner now. Then sleep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then tomorrow night, the night sail to Martinique. Nice. Gonna be awesome. Yeah. And this was an epic ending. Uh, as you can hear, there's quite a lot of motor sound. We left uh, Bridgetown this morning and uh, just as we were getting up to Port St. Charles, the engine died again. I think it was one of the the later filters in the engine that was full of water and uh, uh, I was I didn't replace it because I was afraid that uh, I wouldn't get it to seal properly I didn't want to um, take that issue in Bridgetown so now we're running up the, the jerry can again and uh, we're just getting into Port St. Charles soon so we'll anchor up and we'll see if we can tackle this engine again. Change all the filters, do a service and see if we can leave Barbados today or what it looks like. I'll show you what the solution is. This is one of the worst parts about long distance cruising. This time, maybe. Fingers crossed. We were so sick and tired of having problems with the engine again, so we just put all our focus into fixing it and getting the boat ready for a sail up to Martinique. Unfortunately, we didn't film anything during this time, 
but we arrived safe and sound in Lamaran in Martinique after a night sail. Thank you so much for watching, I really really hope you liked the episode. Don't forget to leave us a like and a comment to let us know what you think. We really like hearing from you guys and it really helps us out a lot.